Hey everybody, we're back here. Uh, another fun-filled episode of The Actor's Pilgrimage. March 13th, Friday, the 13th of March, 2009. Here I am drinking some chamomile tea, courtesies of the Cheesecake Factory, because I have a little sore throat thing, which I caught at work, so, <clears throat> you know, they gotta help me. Got new headshots a couple of weeks ago, and I got him shot with, dun 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 Marcus Thomas. For those who work at the Cheesecake Factory, you know Marcus, black guy, funny, big smile. Well, go get your headshots done by him. Site for those who couldn't read is mttphotography.com. Marcus Thomas, thomasphotography.com. I don't know. For this, and that's Bobby Duvall there, Robert Duvall, the man. One of my favorite movies and one of my favorite actors, so. It's one of the posters that is in my room. Just want to share a couple of things, you know, plug, so just plug. Uh, Acting from a Spiritual Perspective is a great book that I've been reading. Really good, whether you, um, you're Christian, non-Christian. As long as you have a spiritual belief, this book is will help reaffirm a lot of things that you're going, this is why I feel I should be an actor, and it's kind of... As some not only good exercises, but reaffirmations of, hey, you know what? If you honestly felt called to be an actor, you're not just one of the people who's like, I want to be an actor just to be famous or to get money or meet women or, or guys or, or get married or blah, blah, blah. But if you really feel called to be an actor, it's just in your heart and it's in your soul, this is the book to read. Trust me. I'm going to start up with Yancey Harris again in April 8th. So for those interested, please email me and I'll send you some details. He's 160 a month. The best acting scene study you can get from a working actor. The guy's series regular and also um, series lead on a lot of stuff. So anyways, I'm going to um, jump into that class and I'm going to be doing a scene from this book, The Rabbit Hole by David Lindsay Abbeyer. Abir, winner of the 2007 Pulitzer Prize. Is that the right pronunciation of that? Hope so. So I'm gonna try to work on this. The great thing about Yancey's class, it's not just okay. You put up one week, you move on to the next one. It's gonna be a couple, few months commitments. So I'm just ready to just dive in here and uh, see what happens. So this is what I'm gonna be focused on. As far I'm gonna get on my soapbox here for a second. Do, 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 bum, bum. The number one sin that actors make is by not learning from the past. I know so many actors that come in to LA and say, you know, I'm just going to do it my way. I'm going to be the new hip version, blah, blah. You know what? I don't need anybody else's help. I'm not going to collaborate with anybody. It's all about me and my work and what I can bring. That just really, bar none, pisses me off. Because I think as a community, we need each other. You know, I have some great ideas, but it doesn't mean that they're going to be executed properly. Maybe somebody else is going to refine my ideas and to make me better and help them. And, you know, it's all about giving and taking. It's not just one person trying to do it all. You know, as it says, iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. So why does a person think they can just do everything by themselves is beyond me. Nah. Speaking of learning from those who came before me, uh, this series that came out through PBS. It was a, I think it was a six night series, but it's a three disc DVD series called Make Em Laugh. Wow. Can I just say, uh, from all the way from Charlie Chaplin to right now the Judd Adipo, Ben Silla area. All the way from Charlie Chaplin to the Judd Adipo and Ben Silla era. Kind of covers everything in between. Lucy, uh, Red Fox, Red Skeleton, uh, Jack Benny, Archie Bunker, sitcom, stand-ups, um, everything in between, vaudeville acts, is all in here. Now granted some people don't like uh, Billy Crystal as the host, but I will highly recommend if you uh, are serious about acting in the comedic form, learn from those who came before you. It doesn't mean replicate, it doesn't mean, I'm not saying Okay, you want to be the next uh, Billy Crystal? Hey, look, not. But learn. There's a reason they were successful, in my opinion, 
I'm just going to learn and take what I can. Well, if it's me, like, hey, one person I'm going to start researching now, I've never seen any of his real movies. I've never seen any of his movies, but Bob Hope. I mean, come on, I just recently started picking up the Jerry Lewis and Dean Martin. I mean, these are people I'd never watched before. I was like, you know what, I need to watch these guys. As far as the Dean Martin, Jerry Lewis, loved uh, My Friend Irma. My Friend Irma Goes West was, ah. Eh. That's My Boy was interesting, and then Sailor Beware, and then I started getting the flow, the formula. Uh, Jumping Jacks, loved it. The Stooge, loved it. Scared Stiff, ah. Eh. Did love the Bob Hope, Bing Crosby uh, cameo, and the Caddy was good. Of uh, My Evenings with Cary Grant, a great uh, novel biography. I'm learning. I mean, he's uh, a muse for me, and so is Lucille Ball. So um, that's the next autobiography I'll be picking up. One of it is Entertainment Weekly. The Watchmen just came out. I don't know if everybody, anybody liked The Watchmen. I did. I thought the comic book series, miniseries, was always, I don't want to say overrated, but maybe it was just above my head. I was like, ah. I love the movie, though. Great. And speaking of comic books, another thing I keep up with is Wizard, the Guide to Comics. I get the subscription because it's only, like, really $2 an issue if you get it through Wizard or you get on your newsstand for $6. Holy crap! <clears throat> We're all trying to save money, right? Hey, me. I'm pretty frugal. That's why I don't go out drinking. Why well, go out drinking, spend twenty, thirty dollars at a bar when I can go home, buy a bottle of Jack, Gentleman Jack, and drink at home, huh? Of course, that's kind of lonely if you drink at home, and so if you do that, you might want to watch it because that's signs of alcoholism. And I can say that because both my dads were alcoholics, so I know vaguely about that. So I have to. Well, uh, to save money, this is what I do: Vons, Ralphs, coupons, and also just see the deals. You know, I have a, a card at Vons, so it's like, hey, um, what's this? Oh, buy two, get one free, or like this. Fridays, ooh, five dollar service deli. Yeehaw! Five dollars. Uh, that's two meals, basically three. If if I can really stretch it, eat for a week. Yeah. Inside the actor's studio. So I've already watched the uh, Russell Crowe and Sean Penn, Oscar winner Sean Penn. So I still have the Al Pacino, the Robert De Niro to watch. And then we got this one coming up. I haven't watched any of these yet. I haven't even opened it, as you can see. But uh, it has Paul Newman, Robert Redford, Barbara Streisand. I don't think I'll really watch that. But I'll, I'll watch it just to watch it, but I don't... Maybe I'll become a fan. Who knows? And then, uh, of course, Clint Eastwood. Because I think we forget that acting is a gift. It's a uh, pilgrimage. Hence why this is called the actor's pilgrimage. It's not a, okay, I'm ready. Let's do it. It's like a continuous journey. Speaking of continuous journeys, I think the camera's doing that. Speaking of continuous journeys, I do want to share one thing. I watched The Secret. I'm not a practitioner of The Secret because I'm a Christian. And a lot of that stuff is like, hey, I already knew that because of Jesus. I knew that because of Jesus. Hallelujah. But I do want to show you an aspect that I did take from that. This is my vision board. I still have a couple of holes, as you can tell, that need to be filled. But, uh, yeah. So those are my goals. These help me f keep focus. Any quotes, any things that inspire me, I put on. Thank you for joining me once again on this journey. The Actor's Pilgrimage with Sonny Dominguez. Let's see what happens. This is an important year for the entertainment business and also me. Work begets work, and I'm just trying to get some work so I can stop waiting tables and start getting to be a paid actor. Not going to happen overnight. I knew that coming in. When I moved to Los Angeles, I gave myself 10 years. I'm at three and a half now. And uh, as it says, uh, in his heart, a man plans his course, but the Lord determines his steps. So let's just see what happens when I take these steps and 
the journeys, the pitfalls, the trials, the tribulations, the heartache and the joy that comes from auditions and rejections and acceptance and great work, but we don't like your look or great work and we decided to go with someone else or that was horrible or hey, maybe next time or hey, you know what? Call back. Let's see that kid again. That's my life. So thanks again for joining me. Thank you again for the encouragement to all those actors and non-actors who've been in my life and let this journey continue. The Actors Pilgrimage, February 13th, March 2009. This is Sonny Dominguez, signing off. Hey, lady!